there on the field. The pride of the Southland band crisply marches into the giant tee. The rear, the roar of 97,000 fans rises with each rhythmic step. In the background, George Beatsis is singing White Falls White. The orange and white shakers flood the air. The volunteers are ready at the north end of the football field to burst through the gate. They're coming now, racing onto the field for the giant tee. In that magic moment that says, wherever you are, it's football time in Tennessee. Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. It's hard to believe how fast the football season comes and goes it's like we look forward to it all year we we talk about recruiting we talk about spring camp fall camp the transfer portal we talk about everything leading up to football season and then you only get 12 of them you get 12 regular season games they come and they go and then you kind of move into the off season and you know we've, we've been talking this week a lot about just how much fun this year was you know we, we definitely had some downs we had some lows we had way more highs way more highs than lows Going on the road and beating Pitt. Yeah, it wasn't as pretty as you wanted, but Tennessee got it done in overtime. We're talking about going undefeated in September. Tennessee did just that. Beat beat the Gators in Neyland Stadium. Checker Neyland, college game day. Multiple times college game day on campus. Beating Alabama. What a night. What a memory. Man, what a post-game celebration. Seeing people storm the field, fire up the cigars, throwing the goalposts into the river. What a, what a fun ride it has been in 2022. Now, something that comes along with that, something that comes along with success is that other teams are going to come try to poach your coaching staff. That's the rumor floating around right now is that Alex Golish reportedly a prime candidate for the Cincinnati head coaching job. And again, there's two ways. There's two ways that you can lose coaches. Number one, they suck. Number two, they're really, really good. And that's what happens when you have the type of year that Tennessee had. I mean, you're leading the country. After the regular season's over, you are leading the country in total yards. You're leading the country in points per game at 47.33 points per game. That's absolutely ridiculous. That uh, You know, when Danny White came in and he hired Josh Heupel and they talked about, you know, we're going to be innovative. We're going to run a fun, exciting, fast-paced offense. It's going to be electrifying. You guys are going to have a lot of fun watching this football team coming off of cornbreads stale boring offense something Gabe talked about yesterday in the morning show even the wins even the wins under Jeremy Pruitt were boring but now you got a football team going out there and averaging over 200 yards per game on the ground averaging 332 yards per game through the air when that happens when you have that type of success other teams are going to come try to poach your coaching staff and that's what is happening that is the rumor with Alex Golish, we'll get into it, talk about it. But as always, do me a favor, go ahead and smash that like button just below the video. Just hit that little thumbs up. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. If you like the videos, if you like the live streams, you like the contents, make sure you're signed into Google and hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the Talking Balls Network, welcome. We're not experts. We're not We're not insiders. Uh, we're fans, just like you. For the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You won't miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. I uh, decided we're going to go ahead and do another live stream tomorrow night, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Myself, J.P. Dauber, going to come on here, go live, and just kind of talk about the season in general. Maybe look to some bowl projections. Is Tennessee going to the Orange Bowl to take on Clemson? The college football playoff rankings will be able uh, be out later tonight. We'll be able to talk about that as well. Uh, so make sure you join us Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Let's jump into this article. Uh, this is from over at on3.com. Uh, Grant Ramey, Tennessee offensive coordinator Alex Golish, reportedly a prime candidate for the Cincinnati job. It says here, Tennessee offensive coordinator Alex Golish is a prime candidate in Cincinnati's search for a head coach. According to The Athletic, former Cincinnati coach Luke Fickle was hired at Wisconsin on Sunday. Uh, here's the quote from The Athletic. This was by Bruce Feldman. You guys may have seen it all over Twitter last night. It says Golish grew up in Dublin, Ohio, near Columbus. He uh, began his career as a student assistant on Jim Tressel's staff at Ohio State, then helped Matt Campbell get things rolling at Iowa State before going to UCF with Josh Heupel. Uh, the 38-year-old who handles play-calling duties for the Vols had a key role in the program, uh, going from number 102, number the, the 102nd ranked offense in the country under Jeremy Pruitt. A year later, they go to number seven. This year, the number one offense in the country. Uh, says the Broyles Award finalist is another prime candidate. That's another big accomplish, uh, accomplishment for Alex Golish. He is a Broyles Award finalist. 
goes out to the top assistant coach in the country. So where does Tennessee go? If Alex, you know, again, and th this is a good problem to have because, like I said at the top of the video, you can lose a coach one or two ways because they're really, really good or they're really, really bad. And, and this is a good thing. You know, we saw it last year with Cody Burns going off to the NFL. Alex Golish, we knew. We knew sooner rather than later, Alex Golish was going to get offered a head coaching job. It It is what it is. It's the reality of the situation. So if he does get a head coaching job, that, that's a good thing. It is a positive thing. You know, I, I know it's a little bittersweet because you're losing your play caller. And yes, this is this is Josh Heupel's offense. But again, Alex Golish does call the place. How does that impact things moving forward? It's still going to be Josh Heupel's offense. It's still going to go fast. They're still going to score points. But where does Josh Heupel go from here? If Alex Golish does take the head coaching job at Cincinnati, where does Josh Heupel look to replace him? Does he go outside? Does he go outside the Tennessee coaching staff? Or does he look to promote from within? Because there is a guy on this coaching staff that's been with Josh Heupel for quite a while, pretty familiar with this offense, pretty familiar with the quarterback position. Uh, that's Joey Housley. He's the quarterback coach for Tennessee right now. He spent a lot of time with Josh Heupel. He was an, off, uh, an offensive analyst when Josh Heupel was the offensive coordinator at Missouri. Uh, then in 2019, uh, he came to Central Florida, where, again, he was an offensive analyst. Then he was promoted in 2020 at Central Florida, became the quarterback coach. Uh, and then he followed Josh Heupel and this coaching staff up to Tennessee, where he's continued to be the quarterback coach, working with Hendon Hooker, Joe Milton. You, you guys know the quarterback room. Does Josh Heupel look to promote from within? And I, I'm, I'm not against this, man. I'm not against it. We saw it with Coach Pope, right? What, 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 what better audition for a position coach or for an offensive coordinator than, than to coach with the guy for years? And, and that's what we saw with Coach, uh, coach Pope last year, right? When Coach Burns went off to the NFL, there was a little bit of a coaching search. We're, we're throwing rumors. We're, we're, we're talking about where Josh Heupel decides to go. And ultimately, he promotes from within a guy that he knows, guy that he trusts, a guy that he's coached with. And, and Coach Pope has done a great job with those wide receivers. So would Josh Heupel look to do the same thing with Joey Housley, promote him up to offensive coordinator? Then you're looking to try to find a quarterback coach to replace Coach Housley. But that, that's the rumors now. Again, it's, it's early in this process. We'll see how it plays out. It's that fun time of year, guys. It's that fun time of year. Yes, the season is over. We're, we're looking for the bowl game. We can watch some other games. We can watch the SEC championship uh, and pull for LSU to completely wreck Georgia. It'd be absolutely hilarious. I would love nothing more than to see the college football playoff get flipped upside down on its head. But but for Tennessee, we got one more game to play. We got one more game to play. Orange Bowl, Sugar Bowl, Cotton Bowl. Where's Tennessee going? We will wait and see. But in the meantime, it's going to be recruiting hot and heavy. It's going to be the transfer portal. We're seeing a ton of names enter the transfer portal. I got a couple uh, in mind that I might make a video on later today. We'll see. Uh, but it's just going to be chaotic. You've got coaching carousels, the whole nine yards taking place after the regular season ends. But I want to hear from you guys. What, what do you guys think? Again, it is a good problem to have when your offensive coordinator is getting offered, you know, head coaching jobs. Your, your, your Broyles Award finalist offensive coordinator who had the number one offensive uh, offensive team in the country, points per game, yards per game. It's a good problem to have. Yes, it's going to be a problem to replace him. But hit the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. If you were Josh Heupel, what would you do? Would you promote from within or would you go around the country and try to find a replacement for Alex Golis? You guys know the deal. Smash the thumbs up on the way out the door. If you have not done so yet, uh, go check out the official merchandise of the Talking Balls Network. You can go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. Any and all support, greatly appreciated. As always, thank you to the members of the channel. You can become a member of this channel. Hit that join button down below. It's as little as 99 cents a month. That's it. 99 cents. That's it. If you like what we do, if you're a fan of what we do, uh, join the channel. There is strength in numbers. we got almost 19,000 subscribers. If everybody donated a dollar, we would do this thing full time. We would bring you more streams during the day, in the morning, in the evening, more content coming your way. Uh, but if not, that's cool. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. That's going to do it for this one. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.